Hi, I'm Mark, National President of the Young Christian Workers, and I'm here today to talk about the dignity of work and a fair wage for the Spark Social Justice Project run by the Leeds Justice and Peace Commission. At the moment in our country, many of our schools provide not only food to support disadvantaged young families, but household goods such as toothbrushes, shower gel and washing products. Some may argue that this is solely due to the global pandemic, but it must be remembered this was also a problem pre-pandemic. We have also seen a big increase in families accessing food banks, or they have chose between eating that day or being cold. A reason for the increase of school support in families is parents who work full time are falling into the gap of not only being able to claim any benefits or support such as vouchers, because they are just above the threshold. This goes to show that the current wages that people are getting to live on is not adequate enough to live in today's society. Since 1891, the church has spoken a great deal about the human dignity in the workplace and the call for a just and fair wage. Pope Pius XI in Quadgressimo Anno, which is the document celebrating the 40th anniversary of Pope Leo XIII's encyclical, Rerum Novarum, refers to a just wage by saying that every effort must therefore be made that workers of families receive a wage large enough to meet ordinary family needs adequately. In the light of his papal teaching, we need to relook at our current circumstances and to access our economic system to allow everyone to have a fair wage for a fair day's work. This would ensure parents can pay the bills and put food on the table for their families. Pope Francis in his address to participants of working class Christian movements stresses the fact that there is nothing worse than poverty that does not allow a person to live off what they have earned and this deprives a person of their dignity. He goes on to say that we would find ourselves in a throwaway culture if economics take a precedence over an individual. And to have that dignity stripped down to merely being a consumed good that once, once finished can be thrown away. Work is much more than a source of financial income. Work is an integral part of human identity. It plays a part in people's lives and the future of work has the potential to promote decent employment for all. In a very positive way, St. Pope John Paul II's encyclical on human work states that work is a good thing for humanity. It's not only good for the sense of that it's useful or something to enjoy, it also is good as being something worthy, that is to say something that corresponds to man's dignity, that expresses this dignity and increases it. Pope Francis speaks to all political leaders that they must keep working to structure society in such a way that everyone has a chance to contribute his or her own talent and efforts. We as young people are the first generation to face the challenges of technology and on, on a tremendous scale, but we believe that it's being given the gift of creativity so as to continue the work of God our creator and the ability will to adapt to these changes positively. We are social beings by nature. I want to contribute to society through work. We have an inherent thirst for knowledge, a will to keep looking for new ways and how to explore them. Moreover, we always seek better ways to communicate. We aim to stay connected and we believe that through improved communication that we have a great impact on society and the workplace is no exception. With the growth of automation robotics and artificial intelligence, young people have reached a point of unprecedented challenge. That dignity needs to be restored as unemployment has once more become a burning issue and unemployment is reaching record levels even in nations that for decades have enjoyed a certain degree of prosperity, there is a renewed need to appreciate the importance of dignified work, of which St. Joseph is an exemplary patron. Various needs, various areas need to be examined and acted upon to bring up about restoring dignity. We need to look at ways in which we can train or retrain young people in order to give them hope and encouragement for them and their families' futures. Too many young people are exiting from education with no prospects or jobs hoped for. Lack of experience is being used against them and opportunities seem to be lacking. The whole area of apprenticeships is ripe for revamping. Firms are crying out for the skills which at the moment are in danger of being lost maybe forever. Young people are concerned about the increase of precarious work and decrease in job security. Casual work with zero contracts is not fit for all people. We need to protect young people from feeling under pressure to be constantly available for work, there needs to be a good work-life balance. Otherwise, there is constant danger of mental health problems. Mental health is a major concern today, especially for young people. Stress, anxiety, and pressure over studies, worries over the future, and self-image bring a constant danger of leading to depression and even breakdown. 
A further alarm is the loophole in the UK employment law. This allows young people to be exploited through unpaid trial shifts, but then unable to secure employment at the end of that trial. Some companies are using them as a means to save costs. There is an urgency to seek ways to secure permanent work for our young people. With this in mind, let's summarize what needs to be done. Young people need to be treated with dignity and respect. They should be sufficiently paid for the work that they do. They should be provided with adequate training and employers should in, ensure a correct life work balance. Paul Francis recently said to young people, don't wait until tomorrow to contribute your energy, your audacity and your creativity to change in the world. You are the now of God and he wants you to bear fruit. The YCW is keen to be part of this mission and we call on society to pay attention to what young people are saying and support us to build a future where technology is there to insist and improve the quality of life for human beings, never the other way around. Young people, young people's God-given dignity can be respected in every aspect, especially in the workplace where they fulfill their vocation. With sustainability, freedom, peace and love present in all aspects of our lives.